Howdy friends. I hope you had a good weekend. You stayed out of the heat too much. Uh, things get warm in this sanctuary. I think I've told you this before, but uh, it's amazing uh, how quickly things can heat up and how much it takes then to cool them down. But regardless, uh, I'm going to do another one of our Beatitudes pieces for you here. This is one of my favorites, also one of the, maybe the most difficult. But when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. And then they began to, he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. So mercy is one of those things that we probably all have a pretty good sense of what it is, means to be merciful to someone. But it also tends to be one of those things that, well, I'll speak for myself only. I assume all of you are really good at it, but showing mercy to people sometimes is very difficult. It's easy to show mercy to people who are, uh, or that you perceive are less than you, or you have power over, or that you are more important than, right? It's easy to show mercy to someone who has less, who figures less than you see yourself. It's really hard to show mercy sometimes to your loved ones and to your closest friends because it feels like you're getting away with something. It's probably the most difficult to show mercy to yourself. I will assume that every one of you has made a mistake at some point in time in your life. Just maybe one, maybe two in your lifetime. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is to show yourself mercy when you make a mistake. There's a lot of discussion, especially these days, around what white folk specifically can be doing to talk about racism, to talk about issues around white fragility. And if you don't know any of these terms, we can talk. But one of the biggest things that white folk don't like to do is step at it. If you do the work of showing mercy to others who are trying to do the good work, right? You're going to hear about folks who are trying to do work around racism and they're going to say something stupid. They're going to misstep. If you choose to engage in some of that work, and I hope you do, you will make mistakes. And most of the folks you're going to work with will show mercy in a heartbeat. The people who don't are people like yourself, where you, you, you just you get paralyzed in fear because you don't want to do the wrong thing. And that sort of paralyzation of not wanting a fear of doing the wrong thing means you do nothing, which in fact is the wrong thing. Showing mercy is so much more than just saying, oh, it's okay, or oh, I forgive you. It's part of it, absolutely. But showing mercy means that you're also allowing others to be given mercy. You're allowing others when they make a mistake and they do not deserve your forgiveness. They do not deserve your good graces that you say, you know what? Others have been merciful to me and I will be merciful to you nonetheless. I encourage you, especially if you have any of those relationships right now where there is, shall we say, tension, be merciful, be the bigger person. Yeah, you may not have done nothing wrong. Yeah, there may be a lot of water under that bridge, but showing mercy to people is such an important piece for healing all of us to heal the world. So enjoy, we'll see you soon.